good morning to the ones that have been watching my videos thanks I, uh, I even have some subscribers now so uh, thanks for that um, last couple of days uh, I've been training because the, the trainer assistant coach has been coming to the football center and the guys that are here which are uh, including me we are with six right now um, have been training a lot so in the mornings we do a gym session and in the afternoons we've been going to the mountains to run so it's been pretty tough training but I like it now I've been uh, spending my time like that like training and editing and today um, I have an off day and because we haven't really practiced with the ball a lot uh, I'm gonna practice with the ball I ran into the coach and he said that uh, we can absolutely not use the recreation fields because of corona again it's like it's all closed and they don't want anyone to use public areas so um, I need to improvise and find a spot where I can train okay this is perfect Look. Behind the football center uh, complex, there's a little park. It's been used for dogs, so I hope everyone, the Korean people, clean their dog poop. But it's flat and it's grass, and I don't mind dogs, so let's have fun. Okay, well, so how do you train when you have limited facilities like this? Um, well, in off-season in the United States, uh, I live in the mountains, so there are no public fields. So I would uh, also actually train in the dog park there. I would uh, take my own dogs for a run in the mountains for about an hour. And then as I would come back, my wife would go to work and then uh, I would have to uh, take care of my daughter. So I would take my daughter to the park and there's like a piece of grass. Uh, it's a little smaller, a lot smaller than this. And um, well, how are you able to train? I had to be creative and uh, use the time as well. My daughter can't play all by herself forever. So I had about 30, 40 minutes. Um, to use and uh, in that 30-40 minutes how do you use that to the most of your ability uh, I came up with something that uh, was inspired by from uh, shadow boxing so you do image training 30-40 uh, minutes long uh, dribbling and Im imaging football scenarios while you're doing interval sprints technique drills and yeah, I think that way I cover most of uh, the uh, parts of a real game. And uh, yeah, you can get as tough as you want. You can take it as far as you like. And uh, I don't really like uh, doing repetitive drills over and over and over and over. So uh, this way it also becomes more fun.
I think I wasn't that big. <sighs> okay. It helps if you have one more person, or like you saw uh, the dogs. In the uh, States, one of our dogs uh, also likes to chase the ball. And that really helps if you really have actually someone to protect the ball from. So <laughs> a dog would help as well. Mm. Oh, you love me. You love me. Oh, you love me. <laughs> Good session. I have to run to be in time for lunch. Oh my, I rushed to the lunch place, but I guess they're closed. I don't see anybody. Where is everybody? <laughs> I just found out that lunch and dinner for today have been cancelled so that everyone had a little bit more of an off day. So, um, Going walking right now to a lunch place that I've been before, which is more uh, western. So uh, sometimes I miss like a little bit like more uh, fresh food. A lot of the Korean food is uh, pickled and or used in the soup, which is also always really spicy. Uh, and then I looked online. Uh, things to do in the city, Chonan and on uh, TripAdvisor and uh, there were some museums and monuments but not really interested in that but they also said that uh, there is uh, there are a few temples around that are worthwhile to see so I'm going to visit the temple today <laughs> to buy a mask because I don't know if I'm even allowed anywhere inside where there are more people and it's probably safer too but they were all sold out so they only had a kids one <laughs> 